Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Sunny Kuswan. Today we are going to see that how to do the human body pose detection. Okay, so when we are talking about the human body pose, then we have to focus on the different body parts like our head position, our hand position, our chest, and we also need to focus on our lower body like our two legs. Okay, so when we are able to track these different body parts, we need to again go in details and need to find the landmarks on that each body part. And with the help of those all landmarks available on our each body part, we'll be able to do the human body pose detection. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see the step-by-step -step human body pose detection, starting from how to accept our input like a sample video or how we can access a live stream with the help of OpenCV. And then we'll try to make use of a media pipe that is a very awesome deep learning library, which is developed by the Google. And it is, has a very amazing solutions which work very fast on a CPU and lightweight devices. So even if you are trying to do the human body pose detection without GPU, it will work very well. Okay, so with the help of this media pipe, we will try to track the different body parts and then we'll try to identify the different landmarks on those body parts. And we are going to make use of those all landmarks to form the complete body posture. Okay, so hope you are excited for this. So before starting a step-by-step -step implementation, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe to this channel, hit on the bell icon so you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting video on data science and machine learning. So now let's get started. So I'm jumping to my PyCharm ID and here you can see that I have already created one sample project like human body pose detection. So it is an empty project. So I just created it to make sure that we should not waste time to create this project because it takes a couple of seconds to prepare a virtual environment. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this default code and let's try to do the step-by-step -step implementation. So first need is that we need to access some sample videos from our local storage so we can do the human body pose detection on those inputs. Okay, so let me just go to the my local storage and here you can see that I'm having some sample videos. Okay, so I'm going to load these sample videos in my program. Okay, so let me just go back to my PyCharm. Let me just install the OpenCV so we can able to access this input. So I'm going to terminal and let me just install OpenCV. Okay, so OpenCV and it's a Python variant. Okay, so now it's installing the OpenCV and once it installs, so I'll write a couple of lines code to just read those videos from my local storage. Now our OpenCV is installed, so let me just go and import this OpenCV. Okay, so let me just type import CV2 and with the help of this OpenCV, I'm going to read my videos from a local storage. Okay, so I'm just going to make CV2 dot video capture and it will help me to load those videos from my local storage and here I have to provide the path of my local storage video. So let me just go to the my local drive and let me just copy this path and let me just put here okay so this is my local path and from that i just want to access the video file okay here you can see that it is considering this slash v as invalid escape sequence so let me just pass one more slash so it will just remove that error okay so now we have video one and it has a format like mp4 so let me just mention the extension so now it will read a video from my local storage and it will store in one variable capture and let me just try to read the each frame from this video so while true so i'm running the infinite loop and inside of that i'm just saying that capture dot read and whatever it is reading so it is giving us in return the status of the read and after that it is providing us the image or the frame which it is reading from this capture object okay so now we got our image and now let me just try to show this image. So cv2 dot image show and here I'm going to provide my window name in which I want to show this image. So let me just see like a pose estimation something and let me just provide our image. So it will display the image and let me just add a wait key like wait key one microsecond. Okay. So let me just say Okay, so now we are good to read this video from our local storage and display it in our program. So let me just quickly try that how well it works. Okay, so before running, I don't want to keep this file as a main. So let me just rename it. So let me go refactor, rename, and let me give some name like post detection. Okay, something. Okay, so now it looks good. And now we are getting here runtime for post detection. So let me just run it. 
okay so we are getting some errors so what it is so let me just go and quickly check that what error it is it seems that it is not able to read this video from our local storage so what mistake we have done we, okay so we have here typo video okay so videos typo so video one okay so now let me just try to run it okay so now we are running and here is our video okay so i can see that this video size is too big so it is not fitting to our uh, actually screen so let me just resize it so we can see it very clearly so let me just go and close it and here i'm going to resize this all the video so let me just resize this all frames or images so cv2 dot resize and it will process the original image and will give the dimension in which we want to resize it so let me just make it like width 600 and height like a 400 so it must be visible on our screen so let me just try to run and see okay so now you can see that we are able to clearly see the video so this is the video we are reading and we have resized it so it can show better on our screen now we have to do the human body pose detection on this video okay so let me just go and install one another library which will help us to do the body pose detection so let me just go to the, my terminal and let me install the media pipe library so let me so I'm just typing command pip install and it's a media pipe. Okay, so that's it and let me run it. So it will take a couple of seconds to install this media pipe library and once it installed, we'll try to import it and we'll try to access the different solutions from it to implement our human body post detection. So as of now, it's downloading this media pipe library, which is I guess around 52 MB size for the Python version 3.8. So we need to wait for a couple of seconds while it's get installed. Now our media pipe library is installed and it is ready to use. So let me just go and import this library. So let me just say like import media pipe and let me give one short name like MP so I can refer it to access uh, its all content. So now I'm going to access the solution from this media pipe. Okay, so from media pipe, I'm going to access the solutions and it has one pose solution which will help us to do the body pose detection. Okay, so let me just store this in one variable and name it like MP pose. Okay, so this is a pose detection solution and now from this pose detection, I'm going to access the actual pose algorithm code okay or you can say the pose model we can access through one class which is available inside of this mp pose so let me just say mp pose dot pose and i'm going to create an instance of it and let me just store in one variable and name it like pose okay if you're interested to see that what exactly inside of this pose solution so let me just take you so if you go inside of this pose so you can see that it has a major five configuration input so it is checks that whether we are going to use this post solution to apply on any static image or any video and what would be the complexity of model we want to use so there are different complexities like 0 1 2 so now by default it is set to 1 it is a medium level complexity if you set the complexity higher it means it will take a more processing power and there might you see bit lag but it will increase the accuracy okay so as of now we are just keeping it default and it, it is about the smooth landmarks and here we are seeing the two confidence levels one is for the tracking the all human body parts and second is for the tracking all the landmarks on all body parts okay so let me just go back and as of now i'm just going to keep this as default if you want to make any changes in that then you can set these all different input properties inside of this pose here and you can change and you can play around it okay so let me just keep playing for our first run and let's go and now try to apply this pose on our video input so let me just go and here i am reading my image resizing it over here and let me just go and make it like let me access our pose solution and from that i'm going to access a process method which will take our in image as input and in return it will provide us a result okay so that results contains the lot of details about the different landmarks and its positioning and all okay so if you just try to print all the result details so if i go and say print so let me just access these results and inside of results we have the actual landmarks okay so i'm going to access those all pose landmarks so let me just say pose landmarks okay landmarks now let's try to run it and try to print it so let me just go and run it so see that what is happening
so you can see here that now our video is running and on here on my console you can see on the left bottom corner that all the landmarks are getting printed over here okay so these are all the different body parts body position landmark so let's try to understand what exactly it is okay so let me just close it and go back to our console so here you can see that we are getting the landmarks over here okay so this one block is representing the one landmark so we are getting here the x position y position and here we are getting the z that is the depth okay and this is the visibility confidence how much percent that landmark is visible according to the algorithm okay so as of now these are all values are scaled in between 0 to 1 so if you want it to see the actual pixel values that means the x y position of the each landmark that also we can see it okay but before that let me just go and try to highlight those landmarks so as of now we are just printing on the console let's try to uh, print those all landmarks on our actual video content so we'll be clearly able to see the all the landmarks so let me just go and write a code to draw those all landmarks so i'm going to top and from this media pipe solution i'm going to access one more solution which will help us to draw this all the landmarks so i'm going to access the media pipe and from that i'm going to access the solutions and inside of these solutions we have one drawing solution okay so that we call it as a drawing util so i'm going to access drawing util and let me store in one variable and let me say it like mp top so we can refer this drawing solution with this variable so going back okay so where we are passing our image for the post detection and in result we are getting the all the landmarks now let me just try to highlight those all landmarks on our video input so i'm going to make use of our mp draw dot draw landmarks method okay so draw landmarks so here it is and inside of that i'm going to pass our actual original image and after that we are going to pass the all the landmarks which we got inside of our result after doing the post detection so i'm going to access the results and from that we are going to access all post landmarks because we want to highlight those landmarks on our input video and now let's try to see that whether we are able to see those all landmarks or not now let me just try to run it so here we are okay so now it's running and here you can see that uh, on console that we are able to see the all the landmarks and here we are able to see the our video and all the landmarks available on our video okay so these are all the different landmarks it is detecting on all over the body and these landmarks will help us to detect the actual body pose okay so let me just go and try to apply on the other video and see that how well it works so i'm going to stop it as of now and let me just go and change my video input so i'm going to pass one another video name it like a video 2 and let's try to run it okay so here you can see that now we are able to see the actual human body pose from one side even though it is detecting the all the landmarks very clearly and you can see that from a, we are getting the all the landmarks throughout the all our different body parts now let's make it more clear let's try to draw the lines uh, let's try to connect these all landmarks which will give us a more better picture about the actual body pose okay so i'm just going to close it and going to our code and i'm going to draw the connection line around the all the landmarks so to this draw landmarks method i'm going to pass one more input parameter so if you want to check that what are all parameters it takes so let me just show you for this draw landmarks it is taking the input as an image and after that all the landmarks so we have already provided our image and the post landmark now i'm going to provide the connection okay so it is a connection link between the all the landmarks so if you want to see that what are all landmarks connection we are passing so let me just show you so i'm going to post detection and here i'm going to access our post solution okay so here we have already created the reference of post solution so i'm just going to access it and from that i'm going to access one constant which has the all the details about which are all landmarks pose landmarks need to be connected so let me just access that constant pose sorry it's pose connection okay so if you want to see sorry it's type o pose connection okay so this is the actual value and let me just show you that what exactly inside of it so if you just click here you can see that it is showing the link between the what are all landmarks need to be connected so you can see that if i just scroll above so here you can see that these are all the 33 landmarks 
now detected by our algorithm okay so you can see the starting from zero index is a nose and if you just scroll down so at the 32 index you can see that it is a right foot index okay so these are all the 33 landmarks detected by this post detection and now we are going to connect these different landmarks so which landmarks need to be connected so for that we have already here having the set of the all the tuples so we want to connect the nose line with the right eye inner line and similar way if you check scroll down you will see the all the landmark line connections in the tuple format so let me just go and just try to run it so you will get a better idea and now we have input as our video 2 so let me again make it to the uh, video 1 and let me just try to run it okay so here you can see that now we are able to see the very clear picture of the all the body position okay so here you can see that one skeleton is drawn and which is very well representing the what are all different landmarks of body and what is the current position of this body so now we are showing this body position on this same video if you want to extract this body position on the another screen then that also we can do it and we can save that video only with the skeleton so i'll show you that part a bit later so let me just go and uh, just try to apply it on another video and see that if there is any one side view then how it works okay so i'm going to apply one another video so let me just go to the, my local storage and see which one would be the appropriate video okay so let me just try to apply it on video three okay so let me just access video three and let me just try to run okay so here you can see that we are just getting a one side view even though we are able to identify all the landmarks uh, very well and you can see that we are not getting any lag so as of now i'm just running on the cpu i'm not using any gpu so this actually media pipe post detection solution works very well on the cpu as well as on lightweight devices like our mobile phone okay so that's all so now let me just go and try to extract that all the body positions and place it on the some another screen so i'm just going to our code and here what we are doing we are just trying to draw the all the landmarks on the same screen or on our same video i'll also try to extract that all landmark and i'll try to display on one blank screen so here i'm going to create one blank screen so actually any image is nothing but uh, you know that it's a numpy array so whenever we are loading any image so here whatever the value we have in this image that is nothing but represented with the numpy array so let me just create one uh, dummy white screen so let me quickly import uh, numpy and with the help of that i'll create one blank image okay so let me just import uh, numpy and let me use short name like np so i can use it very quickly and i'm going here here let me just create one blank image okay so let me just say mp zeros and i'm just going to pass the size of it and the channel okay so let me just make the size like a 600 as a width and height as a 400 and channel as a 3 okay and after that what i will do i'll make it this image output image okay so op image and let me just store it and what i'll do all the pixels in this i'll just fill with a 255 it's white okay so let me just fill it with like 255 okay so i just created one white blank image and that i just represented with the op image okay so let me just try to display this image and let's see that whether it is working fine or not so let me just say cv2 dot image show and let me just give one another window name like just pose okay on this window we'll try to show the extracted post later on okay so let me just make it like extracted post and let me just provide our output image okay so op image and let me just try to run and see that what is happening okay so here you can see that we are getting here the our pose and this is the one blank window on which we'll try to extract this all the pose but now i can see that i have mentioned i guess height and width in the wrong proportion so let me just mention it to the right proportion okay so let me just stop it and go back and here okay so rather than we can automate it so whatever the image size of our actual image that same image size i'll give it for the blank image where we'll try to extract the all the body position so let me just access this original image shape and whatever the shape i'm getting so it will return me the height width and the actual channel 
and same I can pass it over here okay so let me just store it and same I can pass it over here okay so it will create the blank image with the same size okay so height width and this is the my channel okay so now it looks good so let me just try to run it and see okay so now you can see that our actual original image and the blank image has a similar size okay so now we are good now let me just try to extract this all the body posture on this particular uh, blank image so let me just close it and go back and let me just try to draw so what i can do i can just uh, on this blank image let's try to draw it so i will make use of mp draw and on that i'm going to access again draw landmarks method which will help me to draw the all the landmarks on that particular blank image so here i'm not going to pass original image i'm going to pass our output blank image which i have just prepared and then i'm going to pass all the landmarks from our result okay so from results i'm going to access the all pose landmarks and then i'm also going to draw the all the connection lines between those landmarks so let me just say empty pose and access the all the pose connections so let me just say pose connection okay so i guess we are now good and let's try to run it okay it's typo results and let me just go and run it let's try to make uh, try with one another video let me make like video four so we can not get bored with the similar video okay so let me just try to run okay so what is it is giving me some error draw utils module media 5 drawing utils okay so there is typo again draw landmarks okay and let me just run sorry for the frequent typos so let me just go and see okay so now here you can see that on left hand side we are extracting the all the body positions okay on the right hand side our actual video on that we are detecting the, all the landmarks drawing the body position and similar body position we are able to extract on another screen too okay so let me just try to run with one another video also and see that how it works so let me just stop this for now and go and let me just try to another video so i'm going to my local storage and which one video we can use so let me just use a video zero okay so going here and video zero let me just try on this okay so here you can see that now it looks good okay so here you can see the actual video and on right hand side you can see that this is the actually extracted pose okay so this way we can detect the all the landmarks and actually get the body position and if you want we can able to also able to extract this on the another one but now let's consider that if you want to change the all the highlighting styling and the colors and the all other details then how we can do that so let me just go back and just quickly show you that how to do that so you already aware about this draw landmarks method which we are using to draw the all the landmarks and the pose connection so if i just go inside of this draw landmarks so here you can see that we are passing the all the image all the landmarks and the connection lines here we are also getting a provision to provide the drawing specification for the all the landmarks and drawing specification for the connection lines okay so as of now our all landmarks are drawn in the red color and connection lines are drawn in a green color so let me just try to change it so i'm going to pose detection and on the actual video i'll change it so let me just pass here the drawing specification for the all the landmarks so let me make use of this mp draw and from this mp draw i'm going to access one class that is known as a drawing solution so i'm going to have sorry drawing specification okay so drawing specification and this drawing specification we can pass the three kind of inputs or styling details like a what color we want and what should be the thickness and what should be the circle radius so i'm just going to make the color as a blue because it's already red so we want to change it so this color in the bgr format tuple value so i'm just passing this b as a 255 and green as a zero and red as again zero so it will make it as a blue and that thickness i'm going to mention it like a three and whatever is the circle radius so circle radius also i'll mention like a three and let's see that how it looks like and let me just add this closing bracket okay so i'm just applying it on our actual video i'm not applying on our extracted pose okay so let me just put this image show over here so we'll have the all the code in 
sync okay so here we are just applying on the our original image and showing and here we are creating a blank image and showing on that okay so let me just go and try to run it okay so here we are so you can see that extracted post color all the landmarks are the red and just now i have changed the styling over here so you can see that all the landmarks it is representing in the blue color okay so it is bit looks thicker so we can make it small like this one only and it would look good okay so let me just stop and go and here i am passing the thickness so let me make it as a one and i'll make radius as also one so it will draw in a nicer way so let me just try to run it and see so let's go okay so here it is our blank image and we have applied blue color on our original one okay so here you can see that this dot so it is also very small so i guess we have to make it as a two so it will look better like this one okay so this way you can change the drawing specification of any landmarks which we are getting in this pose estimation so i'm just closing it and i'll just make it like a two and let me just change the, our video also so we can get a better and fresh view so let me just try with another video like a name like video one and let's try to run it and see whether it looks good now or not okay so now we can see that on our original video we are able to see it very well so you can see that here it is and it is giving us a good view yeah so now it looks good now let me just quickly go and make change the specification for these drawing lines too if you want to apply the same drawing specification on the extracted pose also then you can just run the same or the add the same code of this drawing specification over here also okay so i just need to copy it and put it over here where i'm drawing the landmarks for this blank our output image okay so now let me just quickly add the drawing specification for our drawing lines too so i'm just going to copy the same specification and i'll just make changes in the color so as of now color is i guess in green so let me just make it like uh, purple okay so let me just make blue as it is and green as a zero and make it red as a 255 so it will combine the blue and red and it will draw in a purple color so let me just go and see that how it's working so now let's try to run it and here it is so this is our extracted pose and this is the our drawn pose okay so here you can see that now all the connection lines of the all the body landmarks are drawn in a purple and all the body landmarks in the blue color okay so now everything is working fine you can see that we are getting the all the faster landmark detection as well as we are drawing the line at a very good speed okay so i'm just going to close it again and if you want to apply this similar kind of color specification on our extracted output also then you can just simply copy this and go to this draw landmarks of our output or blank image and just provide it over here okay so it is just giving an indentation error so now here it is okay so let me just pass it over here comma that was missing and now we are good to run it okay so let me just go and run it okay so now here you can see that our extracted pose and our pose estimation all landmark color and all the lines are shown here okay so you might be feeling like there is lag but it is not whenever i am clicking on this image it stops reading the next image okay so that is why you are getting the halted view if i just release the click it will start playing and start displaying the all the landmarks and all the connection lines okay so this way we can do the body pose estimation on any video or even we can do on the live stream so let me just quickly go and show you that how we can do it on a live stream so let me just stop it and go back now we are reading the all the inputs from uh, this video okay so let me just comment it and let me just try to access my laptop's camera and from the live feed we'll try to do this post detection okay so i just need to change the input so let me just input pass it as a zero so it will access my default laptop's camera and that's it now we are ready to go so let me just quickly try to run it and it will work as it is on the live stream so i'm going to run it so let me just say run and here we are okay so here you can see that i'm in front of laptop and we are just getting a body positions of the or the body landmark of our face and my shoulder area so let me now go backwards and let me just try to accommodate my whole body on this camera view so we'll get a better fit okay so here you can see that i'm going away from a camera and we are able to get a good 
view over here so you can see that now my upper body is visible and if I just move far away it will show us our full body okay okay so okay so now you can see that we are on the live stream and everything is working perfectly fine there is no lag and it is processing very well and we are able to get the good all body landmark detection and we are able to see the all body posture on a CPU very good speed okay so let me just come back okay so this way you can make use of a media pipe to detect the different landmarks of different body parts and draw the connection line to see the actual body pose detection okay so we can make use of these body landmarks to create a different kind of applications in the AR fields or you can just uh, create an application to a yoga trainer or any gym trainer or you can create an application to represent any sign language Okay, so you can use these landmarks for various domains to create a different kind of a solution. I'll try to create a couple of solutions with the help of these landmarks and I'll try to show you in our near future episodes. Okay, so hope you are able to learn something new today and you are able to get that how to do the body post detection. If you like this episode, then please hit on the like button, subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions or doubt, then just mention it to the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. Stay safe, stay happy, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.